Hey class, welcome to the tutorial on converting units of measurement. So, uh, let's start off with answering the question, well, why do we need to know how to do this? Well, we might not always get the measurements in units that we want. So we need to be able to change the units ourselves. So, say for example, um, I went out to build a, a fence, not that I would ever do that. But it would be, say it was, I needed to build a fence that was 1.7 kilometers long, but I could only buy the planks of wood in meters. So say I was trying to go across and start to build a fence across, and I know that it has to be 1.7 kilometers long, I need to be able to convert 1.7 kilometers into an amount in meters so I can buy the wood. So after doing some math, I would realize that I actually needed to buy 1,700 meters worth of wood to go across. Again, not that I would ever do that, but um, it just gives you the idea that sometimes we do have to convert uh, in order to do to work with it. So let's go back to the benchmarks really quickly. I used uh, this benchmark for centimeters with a finger. Uh, I used the, um, the length of a guitar for meters, or I also had a person, uh, a big step for a person, and the kilometers was uh, used for lengths, distances between towns and cities. So there's my poorly drawn picture of a person taking a large step there. So in order for us to actually work with this, we actually have to know how many centimeters are in a meter. So if you take a look at the meter stick, you'll realize that there are 100 centimeters that, need, that are in one meter. And in one me and in one kilometer, I need to actually have 1,000 meters. So that's a really long distance now that you can see that there's a thousand guitars or big steps that you have to make to make one kilometer. So let's try to convert using this knowledge. Let's try to convert. So say I had something that was 14 kilometers long, and I needed to find out how many meters there are. Well, I can see that there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer, so I'm going to multiply 14 kilometers times 1,000, and that should give me the answer for how many meters there are. So 14 times 1,000 is 14,000, so my answer would be 14,000 meters. Now let's try that over here for the meters to centimeters. Say I had something that was uh, 5.2 meters, and I needed to find out how many centimeters it was. Well, I can see here that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so I'm going to multiply 5.2 meters, 5.2 times 100 in this case, and that would give me the answer of 520 centimeters. So we're just using this information to help us figure out how to convert kilometers to meters or meters to centimeters. So let's try a bit of a word problem here. Little Mikey wanted to buy 2.4 meters of rope. He could buy a rope of 200 centimeters in length or 307 centimeters in length. Which should he buy? So let's yank the data out right away. 2.4 meters of rope he needs and he can only buy it in 200 centimeters or 300 centimeters. So I need to be able to convert this wall. It's only in centimeters and I'm stuck with meters right now but I don't have to be stuck for long. So we need to convert this into centimeters. So how many centimeters would 2.4 meters be? Well here's the meters and here's centimeters again. There are 100 centimeters in one meter so I'm going to multiply 2.4 times 100, which gives me 240 centimeters. So if that's the case, if I buy the 200 centimeter rope, I'm going to be short. I'm not going to have enough. I need 240, and I only have 200. So I'm absolutely going to go for 300 and have 60 left over.